a particle moves in a straight line so that its displacement x at any time t is given by x square is equals to 1 plus t square its acceleration at any time t is x power minus n where n is equals to in given question a particle is moving along a straight line path and we know the relation between distance and time by using this relation we have to find out the acceleration we know rate of change of displacement is called velocity so first to differentiate the given equation with respect to time on both sides d by dt of x square is equals to d by dt of 1 plus t square differentiation of x square becomes to 2x into dx by dt and here 1 is constant so differentiation of constant is 0 and d by dt of t square becomes to 2t into dt by dt dt by dt is 1 and now on both sides 2 get cancelled dx by dt displacement by time is equals to velocity xv is equals to t from this v is equals to t by x ok once again differentiate this equation on both sides with respect to time then only we get acceleration rate of change of velocity is called acceleration but here two terms are there d by dt of xv is equals to d by dt of t we know d by dx of uv differentiation of product of two terms is equals to u into dv by dx plus v into du by dx this is the formula to do the differentiation for the product of two terms First to take x is constant. x into d by dt of v plus now take v constant v into dx by dt is equals to dt by dt becomes to 1. dv by dt rate of change of velocity acceleration xa plus dx by dt velocity v into v becomes v square from this x a is equals to 1 minus v square and a is equals to 1 minus v square by x v is equals to t by x 1 minus t square by x square and in denominator again x is there take lcm 1 into x square x square minus t square x square minus t square by x square into x becomes to x power 3. Okay, once check the first equation. Here we know x square is equals to 1 plus t square. From this x square minus t square is equals to 1. So now here x square minus t square term is there. In this place substitute 1. 1 by x power 3. This x power 3 goes to numerator. It becomes x power minus 3. So, acceleration is equals to x power minus 3. Here given relation is acceleration of the particle at any time t is x power minus n. x power minus n is equals to x power minus 3. So, n is equals to 3. n value is 3.